update on the Kakamega International Investment Conference, and it has come to a close with Kakamega Governor Fernandez Barasa expressing his hailing the event as a success. National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula, who was the guest of honor, noted that the planned construction of a gold refinery plant in Kakamega is a significant milestone, not only in economic development, but also in providing employment opportunities for the youth. The three-day conference saw several investors signing various agreements that will benefit Kakamega County and its surrounding areas. What I want to say is uh, this is an investment forum. I know that we are targeting people, investors, uh, from the national level and also from the international level. But from where I sit in industry, the future of industry is going to be small and personal. So what I want to say is it's good to attract international people. It's also good to, to, to attract international institutions. But the real industrialization of Kenya will come when each one of us sitting in this room starts to manufacture and add value to something. Some of the focus areas is the gold refinery, which we have already been told by the ministry that uh, the contractor to do the gold refinery has already been identified and the government is putting in 5.8 billion Kenya shillings to start the construction of a gold refinery and this will offer 4,500 jobs to our youth. All the gold from West Pokot, all the gold from Makalda in South Nyanza, all the gold from many other parts of the country will end up here because you'll have a niche for yourselves as the only gold refining factory in the country. The first and probably most modern and best gold smelting and refining factory in the country. 